Hi, welcome back. My name is Emmy, and I am a professional hairstylist, a coffee lover, and a makeup enthusiast. And today I am talking about none of those things. We're talking about style again, specifically personal style, what it is, how to find it, how I found it, and the journey. What is personal style? Personal style is a fusion of styles that you have found to best express you. So it could be any mix of anything, which is so fantastic. And I love talking about personal style and evaluating personal style and learning more about other people's personal style. And I really love tracking my personal style as I've just lived life. It changes. And it's so, so cool to see how I express myself to the world is changing as I change and live and learn and grow. And I think it's a wonderful thing. For me, finding my personal style was a really important step in growing up in my earlier 20s. It was really taking ownership of who I am. I have battled eating disorders. I am a survivor of abuse. And just having been controlled in a lot of ways by my own doing and other people in my life, finding my personal style was really, really liberating in a huge way that I didn't even realize until after the fact. So for me, this kind of was a weird fusion of a minimalist journey, a personal style journey, a wanting to know who I am journey, and it led me to just accepting my style for what it was and now kind of playing and exploring and utilizing my personal style to express myself and it's wonderful. So how I found my personal style. I started with a book and I started with the book The Curated Closet and this was in an attempt to shop less, consume less, keep less articles of clothing in my closet. I tried to do the whole capsule wardrobe thing for a while. Um, I still kind of try to do that very loosely. I don't do well with like hard and fast rules in my life. I definitely need more like guidelines that I can just kind of loosely follow. So I watched, or not I watched, I read that book and I, I don't think it's an under, like an overstatement to say it changed my life. And definitely part of that book, it's a small part of that book, is finding your personal style. The other thing I did when I was trying to find my personal style is looked up people on YouTube. And I follow a handful of people, Audrey Coyne, uh, Alyssa Bell Tempo, Use Less on YouTube. Those are some of the three most influential channels that I watched while trying to find my personal style. Audrey Coyne, really dives into like the mechanics of personal style and almost like in a scientific way, but it's so lovely and beautiful and her approach to it is so aesthetic that you just like, you're learning, you don't even realize you're learning. So I love her videos. Use Less is a little more like sustainable, conscious fashion kind of vibe, which I've learned a lot about and that's definitely an element of my personal style and what I try to do with my clothing consumption. Uh, not as much of a focus as her, but I learn a lot and I'm really inspired. And then Alyssa Bell Tempo, her Shop My Closet videos completely helped me reevaluate and reframe getting dressed. Uh, and you don't need to <laughs> buy new things every time you see an outfit and be like, well, I would love to wear that outfit. You probably have something in your closet that could make it work. And she, again, breaks it down kind of into the science of it in really digestible, bite-sized pieces of information. And it's wonderful. So those are the three channels I really highly recommend for really discovering your personal style and trying to work with what you have. And it's great. Another thing I did when trying to find my personal style is I fake shopped a lot. And I know we can't quite do this in the world right now, but I would go into fast fashion shops that maybe I knew I, wouldn't, I wasn't gonna buy something from, and I would try on like 30 pieces of clothing and take pictures and try them on in different ways, just stuff that was completely out of my box 
completely different for me, but I just needed to see how it looked on my body and how I felt in it. And so I fake shopped a lot just to get a feel for what I liked, what I didn't like, why I didn't like it. And I took a lot of pictures through that process as well that I would reference back to. And I would remember how I felt in that piece of clothing and then look at the picture and be like, yeah, that kind of lines up. Or maybe I felt terrible in that piece of clothing, but then I look at the picture and I'm like, why did I feel terrible? That looks amazing. So then I kind of think of, well, did it not fit right? Did I need to size up? Maybe I need to size up and get it tailored in a certain way because I love the way it looked, but I just didn't feel right in it. Like that kind of thing. So just really embracing that process of self-discovery was really, really helpful. All the Pinterest boards, all of the Pinterest boards and in the curated closet, which is the book I read, they um, suggest that you, you know, go through magazines and cut out outfits and all that. You can absolutely do that if you're a very tactile person who needs like to hold on to things physically, cool. Uh, Pinterest was plenty for me and I just pinned everything that I like to see and was like, I like that outfit, I like that outfit, I pinned it and I put it all in one place and then after like a good two weeks of pinning, I went and looked at it with the guidance of the curated closet. They have kind of a worksheet that you do and you go through your board or your inspiration or whatever you did and you kind of pick out the vibes that you like from the whole, your, all of your curation that you did. And so when I did that, this was maybe a few years ago now, things like 70s came up, classic, beachy, uh, casual, comfortable, things like, like those types of vibes came up for me a lot. So I loved like the bell bottoms, I loved um, like proportional things. Kind of off of that, you find your color palette and there's a lot of like hard and fast rules around color palettes in the fashion world. I definitely subscribe to a looser version of that. And a lot of my colors do go really well together. I definitely have my favorite colors, but then I have some other colors that are a little outside my box. Maybe they don't go with everything, but it's nice to have that option to mix it up. So I definitely have, a strong core color palette, but I also have a lot of like accent colors around my color palette. So I don't personally subscribe to hard and fast color palette rules. A lot of people do, and that really works for them. Uh, something I discovered when I was kind of building my personal style through this journey is that for me, blue is a neutral. And for a lot of people, I think they think of blue as like, a color. So denim, they're like, well, I'm wearing blue, so I can't wear XYZ colors. And for me, I'm like, okay, I'm wearing denim. It's a neutral. So any color with that is good. And even with this top I'm wearing right now, it definitely is kind of a deeper navy blue. There's like a depth to it that feels more like a color and less like a neutral, but it is part of my neutral in the rough color palette that I have. And that was that like changed the game for me. Realizing and embracing that blue is a neutral in my color palette and just the way I look at color in my closet, it really changed a lot and kind of opened my mind to a lot of options. So that was huge and a big, big learning thing that changed my life. The last thing I did in my personal style journey is I decluttered my closet very slowly. <laughs> so I would have a pile of maybes, I would have a pile of no's, I would have a pile of strong yeses. And this is a formula you'll see a lot in kind of personal style journey videos or information is that that maybe pile, that's where the juice is. Like your yeses, cool, awesome. Those are your assured, so, you know, your no's, it's a no, just get rid of it, just no. But your maybes, that's where you're gonna find like your nuance a little bit and just really be honest with yourself. And even if it's something where you look at it and you love it, but every time you wear it, you're just like, I don't know what it is. It's just not me. You know, maybe that's just, it just is what it is. You don't have to explain it to yourself. So, and then some of those maybes, you know, maybe 
challenging yourself and shopping your style, maybe trying to recreate outfits off of Pinterest and things with those pieces and using them in different ways, you might discover a way to wear that piece in a really wonderful way that you didn't think of before. And that turns it into a hell yes, you know, not a maybe, but a hell yes. And that is really cool when you can like take those maybes and be like, I love this. I just don't really know what to do with it. It's a maybe and figuring it out. Awesome. So declutter slowly. Be sure of your decision because if your motivation is sustainability, the most sustainable thing to do is wear what you have. So if there is a way you can make it work to where you love your closet, you love your clothes, and it really expresses your personal style in a true and honest way, find it. Do it. Uh, can your personal style change? Absolutely, it can change. Uh, I can like promise you it's not even, it's a matter of if, but when it's gonna change. So when that change comes, when you feel that change coming, change it slowly. Change it with one piece, change it with a pair of shoes, change it with like a scarf or something, you know, just one piece at a time. Don't completely overhaul. There is a kind of a sustainable way to do that if you wanted to, but I feel like if you're at the beginning of your personal style journey to get rid of, you know, 10 pieces and replace them with 10 pieces in your new personal style, you know, whatever that is, if you're doing that in a sustainable way where you're selling those clothes secondhand and you're buying the next 10 pieces secondhand, by all means go for it. Personally, I find that's a lot of legwork. I don't sell <laughs> clothes online because it's just a lot of work, to be honest. And that's just not something I have the energy, the motivation or the time for. Um, so I much prefer to slowly change and really thoughtfully bring in pieces, uh, preferably secondhand when I feel that personal style kind of shifting. Uh, so yeah, that's, it's gonna change. Roll with it, figure it out, but, you know, do it. Do it in a way that matches up with your morals and values and your, the why behind your personal style journey. So how would I describe my personal style now after a few years of being on this personal style journey and just kind of paying attention? I would say that my style is written down so pardon my pardon my looking down I would say it's kind of classic beachy casual simple organic and effortless I I love to look comfortable but not frumpy and I hate the word frumpy like hate it because there's a whole I won't get into it I hate the word frumpy I do but it is one of the more accurate descriptions of how you feel in a style that doesn't match how you feel on the inside, you know? And so I like to look effortless. And for me, that is clean lines, not too much print and comfortable textures, comfortable like, uh, what is it, fabrics and just an, a decent amount of intention, but in simple, effortless ways that look like she just tossed that outfit on and she looks so stylish. So I love, I love a half tuck uh, cause it's, you know, a t-shirt and jeans is one of my major go-to outfits and you half tuck that t-shirt and you pop on a belt and it's like an outfit. It's not a t-shirt and jeans. And that kind of thing is totally my style. So as my personal style evolves, a t-shirt and jeans is a go-to. Like that's never gonna leave me. And so, but finding different ways, different necklines of t-shirt, an oversized t-shirt, a fitted t-shirt, a different kind of belt, maybe a wide leg jean versus a skinny jean. There's a lot of play you can have in simplicity. And that's definitely my style for sure. It's classic, comfortable, a little bit beachy because I live by the beach. You know, you gotta be beachy and effortless, I think might be one of my main descriptors. That is a little bit about my personal style journey and what it's brought me and what it's taught me. And it's given me so much confidence in the world and how I move through the world and 
it's just fun too. Like clothes are fun. You can really express yourself with clothes and it's really exciting. And so if clothes have been something that kind of has always brought you stress and just you wear whatever and you feel fine, I guess, kind of thing, maybe think about diving into a personal style journey and figuring out what makes you feel like the most expressive, best version of you. Cause it's out there. You just gotta find it a little bit. Thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram at simplyprettywithemmy and I will see you next time. Thank you.